I want to go to Howard Samuels, founder, CEO of the Hills Treatment Center. You're an addiction specialist. Does it shock you that a principal of an elementary school is arrested in connection with possession and delivery of meth and GHB? Uh, Jane, unfortunately, it does not shock me. I have treated police officers, school teachers, priests, and rabbis. As you know, addiction is an epidemic that is throughout our whole country. For this to happen to a principal does not shock me. Maybe that's the sad thing, because that's the state of where our country's at. But what shocks me are the people that enabled this principal to continue in this job. For him to do what he did to a kindergartner about sensitivity training, for him to be supported by other members of the school board is outrageous. But as you know, Jane, in your own book, this is Attic Nation. That's what's sad. This guy doesn't have a face of meth. He has a very clean-cut face. Well, Jane, I mean, the, what that means is that he's not smoking it on a daily basis. I mean, he's using it, but, you know, he's been able to be high-functioning. There's a lot of high-functioning addicts out there who will use it on weekends and he'll smoke weed during the week or probably something along those that line. But it's the high-functioning addicts that, you know, that we're seeing with this individual. Now, the pictures of the other people you showed, those are meth addicts that use it on a daily basis, and that's where all that comes from over a long period of time. What does it tell you that cops say this guy was using all sorts of drug lingo, uh, talking about methamphetamine as Tina, talking about GHB, which he had in a babel bottle, allegedly, a baby bottle as G. What does that tell you? Well, it tells me he has a history. He, uh, he's definitely an addict. He definitely is not a newcomer to the drug scene. He definitely has been in it. He knows the lingo. He knows how to talk about it. He even has all the drugs that sort of fit his particular uh, personality. Um, He's an addict. There's no question, based on well, all the information. Addiction isn't just about drugs. Sometimes it can be sex or love addiction. Wit just got a divorce earlier this year, and now she's allegedly getting ready to remarry. And then this accusation of lewd activity of a 14-year-old boy. Howard Samuels, sex and uh, general addiction specialist. Could she have some kind of sex or love addiction? Well, without question, Jane, I mean, you have to understand, addiction is about a need. You need something so badly that you will break the law. You'll do whatever it takes to have that need fulfilled. Now, in this situation, this fits that to a T. I don't really know her or have I assessed her, but just this act itself, doing it in a public restroom with a 14-year-old fits that I need it so badly, I'll do anything to have it scenario. Shocking and horrible for that 14-year-old.